Oxford AstraZeneca was among other COVID-19 developed vaccines meant to cough to life the staggered economies of countries around the world following a rather harsh year graced by the effects of what was a new virus. But over the recent weeks, countries like Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Denmark, Norway, Austria and Ireland, among others, have put on hold its use. Sweden being the latest country to join the growing list, with the country's health ministry citing it was a precautionary measure. In Germany, for example, seven cases of cerebral venous thrombosis, a type of blood clot issue, was reported from a population of about 1.6 million people who were vaccinated in the country. Norway and Denmark had each recorded one death of persons who developed blood clots complications. And so far we do not find an association between these events and the vaccine because the rates at which these events have occurred in the vaccinated group are in fact less than what you would expect in the general population at the same time. The EU drug regulator, European Medicine Agency, in its press release dated the 15th of this month, cited that thousands of people develop blood clots annually in the EU for different reasons. But the number of thromboembolic events overall in vaccinated people seems not to be higher than that seen in the general population. AstraZeneca on 14th March published an update on their website stating that there have been 15 events of deep vein thrombosis and 22 events of pulmonary embolism reported among those given the vaccine based on the number of cases the company has received as of 8th March from the EU and UK. But it's routine practice to investigate them. And it shows that the surveillance system works and that effective controls are in place. Investigations that, according to Professor Walter Jaoko, the director at the Institute of Clinical Research of the Kenya AIDS Vaccine Initiative, Kavi, says will be highly beneficial. As it is not the first time in the history of vaccines that a vaccination program or campaign has been halted for some reasons. There are some things that you might not have seen during the trial that you might start seeing after the trial. The question you ask yourself, is it happening in a particular population group, for example. So the issue is not as simple as saying stop or not stop. So for example, if you find that it is the people with high blood pressure, uh, of these people who are getting clots are people with high blood pressure, you can give an advisory and say, for now, people with high blood pressure should not get the vaccine. And with questions arising as to whether the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is safe for Kenyans or not, the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Kemri, reassures that so far in the ongoing phase three trials of the vaccine at Kemri Welcome Trust, Kilifi, no major side effects have been reported. And we're talking about huge numbers of uh, individuals uh, who have been uh, uh, involved in this. So it's a very, very small, small uh, percentage, even with the side effects. That is probably a slight headache or probably a loss of appetite that over time people are able to overcome. As the vaccination program continues in the country, Kenya is recording a high number of COVID-19 infections, 1,064 cases being reported today, raising the cumulative number of those infected to 115,031 persons. Additionally, seven people have succumbed, while 104 persons are admitted at the intensive care unit in various hospitals around the country. Rakamuigai, Citizen TV.